Ma'asim, Acts 3. Now, Kepha and Ya'u Hanan went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple, who seeing Kepha and Ya'u Hanan about to go into the temple, asked in alms. And Kepha, fastening his eyes upon him with Ya'u Hanan, said, Look on us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something of them. And then Kepha said, Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have give I you. In the name of Ya'usha HaMashiach, the Netzeri, rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he, leaping up, stood and walked and entered with them into the temple, walking and leaping and praising Yah. And all the people saw him walking and praising Yah. And they knew that it was he which sat for alms at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at that which had happened unto him. And as the lame man which was helped, rather healed, held Kepha and Ya'uchanan, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Shalamaz, greatly wondering, and when Kepha saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Yashadael, why marvel ye at this? Or why look ye so earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk? The Elohim of Avraham and of Yitzhak and of Yaakov the Elohim of our fathers has glorified his son, Yahusha, whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. But ye denied the Holy One and the just and desired a murderer to be granted unto you and killed the Prince of Life whom Yah has raised from the dead. Therefore we are witnesses. In his name through belief, in his name, has made this man strong, whom ye see and know. Yea, the belief which is by him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. And now, brethren, I know that through ignorance ye did it, as did also your rulers. But those things which Yahuwah before had showed at by the mouth of all his prophets, that Hamashiach should suffer, he has so fulfilled. Repent ye therefore, and turn again, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of Yahuwah. And he shall send at Yahusha. Hamashiach, which before was preached unto you, whom the heavens must receive until the times of restoration of all things, which Yahuwah has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. For Moshe truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall Yahuwah Elohechem Raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me. Him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Yea, and all the prophets from Shemuel 
and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. Ye are the children of the prophets, and of the covenant which Elohim made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in your seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Unto you first, Yahuwah, having raised up his son, Yahusha, sent him to bless you, in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. <laughs>